How's it going YouTube? I want to make a video today about spirit guides and how I found mine and how you can find yours as well. So my spirit animal is crow. I have a couple of them. The main ones being hawk and crow and ravens. Crows and ravens. So the story about how I found mine was when I was about 18, 19, I was starting to go through a spiritual awakening, a large spiritual awakening. When I was starting to go through uh, an intense growth period, I had crows that were flying around me or I would walk outside and there would be like hundreds of them uh, swarming in the trees and like roosting in the trees and all calling. And it was, it was so loud and obnoxious and apparent that I couldn't not see it and pick up the sign. Like it was just so, there. I began to notice um, when a big transformation was coming or a big shift, a change of place, jobs, uh, personal change, personal development, I noticed that they would come in large hordes as like a sign of transformation. And um, in between those little transformations I would see crows come um, in just like one, two, three, five smaller groups and they would just like always while I'm commuting they're like flying across me, they're swooping down in front of me, in front of my car. They're landing on the lights, the poles, the telephone lines, like they're just everywhere. And I notice that sometimes when I'm thinking about certain things, they will come in as a confirmation, they'll fly and land as a confirmation, or sometimes when I'm going to do something, I'm going out to do something or meet somebody, they will kind of swoop down as a warning. And um, sometimes maybe if my intuition was already kind of like previously warning me about it and I was feeling uncertain, they most of the time will fly in um, as kind of a warning. Sometimes they're a confirmation, sometimes they're a warning for me and you have to, I have to rely on my intuition to kind of give me a feel um, when it comes to that. So that's, that's how mine found me and that's how I became aware of them. And they have been so amazingly timed to the T always ever since then, ever since I've noticed them. So if you are looking to discover yours, I would say be, become aware of if you have any animals come into your dreams um, like especially power animals like wolves or um, you know the crow hawks eagles what kind of, if you have birds in general um, see if you can uh, find out what bird um, if you have birds constantly swooping down in front of you or you look up and one is circling around you or they're always sitting on the phone lines telephone poles or maybe they're outside of your house or maybe one's outside of your window chirping every morning. Maybe you see butterflies everywhere, maybe you see dragonflies, maybe you have dragonflies, uh, butterflies, ladybugs, bees, bumblebees, maybe you have these like always around you or land on you or flying around you, they're always present, or um, frogs, um, grasshoppers. Anyone that you see across your path, like if you're outside doing things and you are constantly consistently seeing an animal, good chances that's one of your spirit guides or one of your spirit animals um, all you have to do is become aware um, acknowledge them if you are seeing stuff cross your path you, you're walk, walking you see a snake maybe it's not your spirit guide but they can be messages so if you google if you actually google um, sometimes I will google quote what does it mean when so and so crosses your path or you can google quote unquote uh, spiritual meaning of whatever animal and it'll tell you it'll tell you what the um, symbolism is and it'll tell you what the message is so it's pretty cool and every time for me every every time that I look up one of those they're spot on every single time from what I'm going through and um, I usually find some advice in it um, to how to apply it so that's pretty cool too that's something that you can do but usually once you find it then like once you acknowledge them like they will start showing themselves at very um, specific times, like when you need guidance or um, when you're wondering about something or if you have questions, they will be, obviously they can't give you direct answers unless you are like pinpoint intuition. You can, you can pick up on the message, uh, which you'll get better at and not have to Google everything once you um, have some confidence about what you think your, your animal is. I've also heard of meditations where you go into a meditation 
and you get you get yourself relaxed. Um, you don't have to be clear mind. Meditation isn't all about cleaning your mind and being completely free of thought, but you set the intention that you want to meet your your spirit guide, and you can do something along the lines of like um, you are walking into a room or. Uh, you are in a you're you're in a place of nature say you're walking through the forest picture yourself walking through a forest down this like nice beautiful open trail there's like it's like a nice path laid out for you and there's trees along the side and it's a, a nice sunny day blue skies or maybe you want to be more uh eerie intrinsic and it's kind of you know moody darker outside sunset and you're walking to this build a beautiful space in your mind and um, visualize walking through it and um, maybe picture some sort of like end goal like a, an end location where you're walking to maybe like by a waterfall something scenic something beautiful and maybe there's two chairs there or um, like a statue or a physical or maybe a spirit an actual spirit a, a non-physical I mean I guess it's not physical regardless if you're having a vision but you know what I mean like an actual spirit of the animal maybe they're sitting there waiting for you or maybe it is a physical animal waiting for you or maybe maybe it's a, a human wearing um, I'm thinking like um, a Native American wearing like a headdress like uh, they, they wore a lot of feathers and, and crow stuff maybe it's a maybe it's a shaman wearing a headdress of feathers and it's the the bird of your spirit animal or something um, create a create a vision for yourself and see um, attach, attach to outcome of, of what might be sitting there waiting for you, but see what your mind makes up. Just picture walking there with the intention of meaning it, but not holding, not trying to um, necessarily force or purposely create something. Just maybe walk to this location and, and see what's there waiting for you. And, maybe, and then if that doesn't work, if, you, if that doesn't come to you in a vision or your, your third eye isn't as developed as you'd like it to be able to... Um, create a vision like that and see what crosses your path in your daily life that's I, I feel like that's the greatest place to start is see what's around you the most see what is crossing your path the most when you're outside just be aware and notice what's around you what animals are making themselves apparent to you but just just be aware just be aware start with that if that doesn't work for you try the vision if that doesn't work for you just see what's around you so that's uh, that's a good place to start I feel like those are the kind of things that came to me and that are coming to me to tell you so let me know if you have a spirit guide let me know in the comments if you have a spirit guide or if you end up uh meeting them and discovering what what slash who what kind they are i love sharing this kind of stuff because um it's really fun when you when you find yours and um they start making themselves apparent to you and you can use them as, as a tool to kind of guide you. So if you liked this video, hit that like and subscribe button. I really appreciate the support and um, I will catch you guys in the next video. I love you.